How are you doing today, Kyle? I'm pretty good. How are you? I am just fantastic. So what do we have going on this week? Uh, we got quite a bit. We got some more mounting announcements. I think we have some more principles, uh, weather, and uh, a little bit on the corner epidemic. All right. Well, let's get this thing started. First, we have our feature that is the second part of the Hunger Bowl. Uh, last Friday, we had our second annual Hunger Bowl. It was a great turnout, and uh, we're going to have some pitchers and a voiceover with our drum major, Ricky Fonseca. I believe the, the performance went real well. Uh, as drum major conducting like over 300 kids, it was really exciting, and, and in front of all the Western players and uh, students and fans. We also have Mountain News with Nicole and Devin this week. Hi, this is Nicole Keeter here with Kevin Zlinski in this week's My Announcements. Ms. Hopbar third hour economics class is hosting a district-wide staff for student basketball game October 28th from 6 to 7.30 at the Performance Gym. Concession, concessions and baked goods are for sale and all donations raised are going to the local Salvation Army. Northwest. The Powder Puff football game has been rescheduled for this Sunday, October 23rd at 2 p.m. in Mountie Stadium. Weather permitting. Thursday, there is an after-school meeting for girls basketball. If you missed it, you can pick up further information in the athletic office. That's all for our Mountie announcements. I'm Kevin. I'm Nicole, and have a great day, Northwest. And next, we have the corner. You know anything about that, Kyle? Um, yeah, it's actually kind of over by Mr. Z's room uh, in that hallway going towards like the band room. Um, a lot of kids cut the corner short, and there's a lot of collisions. So some days you'll see a big orange cone out there for kids to go around, and there's just a little bit more talking about that. You gotta stop them collisions. Hey, Mr. Zyre, how are you doing today? I'm well. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Now I've heard at this very corner there's an epidemic going on at this school. People running into each other. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, what's going on is people that are coming down this hallway trying to cut the corner, and so they can't see people coming from this hallway here, and there's a collision. Oh, yeah, so that's not good for anybody. So, how do you think it can be fixed? Well, I think that people coming from this hallway need to make sure that they take a wide turn. Uh, in baseball, we use the, the analogy of banana turn. So come outside and around. Okay, sounds good. Is that why this cone is here? Is it to show where people should go? Uh, yes. Hey Kyle, you ready for Halloween? Yeah, I'm getting close. You gonna dress up? Uh, thinking about it. I kinda wanna be Batman. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. It would be. Yeah. That's right. why we have our Halloween dance commercial coming up next. On Friday, October 28th, from 9 to 11 p.m., we'll be having a haunted Halloween soiree here at Northwest High School. with a Halloween costume contest and a haunted hallway. Costumes are permitted, but make sure no full face paint or masks. And don't you dress like a clown or I'll warn you there will be consequences. And this week we'll be featuring another episode of Sports Talk with Kevin, Bryce, and Reese. Kevin, check out these stats. Actually, let's forget them. Let's talk. I'm Bryce. And I'm Kevin. And this, this is, is your Monty Sports Talk. talk. <laughs> Sad day for Northwest Sports Monday night. Boys varsity soccer lose 3-2 to Adrian. Kind of sucks. Districts, last game of the year. How does it feel afterwards? Um, well, I feel like we did not play our best game. Uh, we had some games over the season where we played much better and 
We played hard, but sometimes it just doesn't go your way. It wasn't our night. Looking back at it, what do you think you could have fixed in the game? Um, well, like their last goal, we couldn't really do anything about it. Um, it was like last two minutes. It was a cross, and it was just unstoppable. But I feel like um, our intensity wasn't where it should have been. And if that, if we picked that up, maybe it would have been different. But it's, pick, o- it's over, so what are you going to do? Let's pick a few positives out of it. Yesterday was your birthday, Kevin. Mm-hmm. You had a goal. Mm-hmm. That is amazing. I'm very proud of you. It was a nice upper corner mm-hmm. shot. Thanks, I Bryce. just want to give you props for that because mm-hmm. that was amazing. Thanks, Bryce. Yep. So hopefully next year with mm-hmm. experienced underclassmen, we got even a few freshmen on varsity mm-hmm. this year. Oh, yeah. Maybe soccer will come out next year, be even better, go mm-hmm. further. Mm-hmm. So it is what it is this year. You had a good season. Thanks. Yep. It's coming Friday night. Boys varsity football played Western rivalry game. Mm-hmm. Came out strong. Good first half. Good first quarter. Seven to seven. We had a different quarterback in this week too. We had Devin Garner in, who normally isn't at quarterback. Normally He's pretty Ryan. good for yep. filling in. He had some good passes. He had a touchdown run, which is mm-hmm. pretty cool. But it was a close game at first, but then Western pulled away. Yeah, pulled away. Forty-two nineteen. But I think we, we played new defense this week also. We played a lot of man coverage. But we had good coverage most of the night, just a few few big plays they had. But yeah. that's the pass Saw now. some cut-ins that you just can't stop sometimes. Yeah. But now look for next Friday, playing Leslie. Leslie. That should be a very winnable game, pick them apart with passing. Mm-hmm. So just kind of wait and see if we have Ryan back this week or Devin. Either way, we can pick them apart yeah. with Devin's speedy running because he's mm-hmm. quarterback and he can run if he's quarterback. Throw two and Ryan... Great passer, so see what we got, see what we got to do. Yep. So Bryce, our girls' golf team, had a pretty impressive outing at, uh, this last weekend. Out of 75 teams, they were 14th in the state. That in is three. really good. Mm-hmm. Really good. I'm proud for our lady golf team. That is amazing. Yep. Best of luck next year and oncoming years. Great job this year. All right, that's it for this week. I'm Kevin. I'm Bryce. Catch you next time. Yeah, we have another great week with the principals, more games. I think we did a spelling bee this week, and it'll be a little bit more about that on next with Rachel and myself. That should be intense. <laughs>
Oh, Check. Lord. Wait, he has to turn his around. Well, I didn't know. I don't know what this letter was. What? Well, your first letter's wrong. <laughs> <laughs>